In this video, we're going to take a look at two ways to uh, put your objects into groups so that you can like move them or scale them or rotate them all as one. So here's the first way, groups. I don't really like this way, but I'll show you uh, how it works. Basically, you select your objects. So I'll select that. I'll hold the Shift key. I'll select that. I'll hold the Shift key, and I'll select that. And I have them all selected, and I can go Object, Group, Create New Group. And let's give a new group here. Let's say uh, the name of this group is going to be called Cool Statue. Okay. Now, where is this ever found in the program again? Um, I'll show you in a minute. It's here in the Object tab. But what you do now while it's all grouped is they move together. You hit Scale. They scale together. Now, that's nothing new. I could have just selected all of them with the Shift key and done this anyways. Now, I guess the idea is that later on, maybe you work on the light. Now you go back to work on these. You'll notice when I select them now, it is not selecting the entire group, but it is selecting them sort of fluorescent green. It's letting you know they're part of a group. Well, what happens if I want the entire group that that's part of? Well, all you do is you just select it. You go to the Object tab. I'll just show you that's the Object tab and the object tab has a little tab way lower down called groups and it names the group that it's in and one of the options you have here now is you can drop this down and go select all the grouped objects yep it selects all the objects that that was grouped with same thing if I had selected this one the object tab select grouped it selects all the objects and now I could move them. Okay, not bad. Okay, so that's one thing you can do with groups. Now, here's another way you could go about this whole procedure. I'm just going to quickly create two new objects here. So I'm going to deselect this stuff. Let's go add mesh cylinder. Let's go add mesh cone. Let's sort of get it on top. Let's say I want these two to be permanently together okay so let me just zoom in here I want these two to move together act together but I don't want to have this annoyance of having to go to the group tab another thing you can do is called parenting which will be really useful later on in animation so here's what you do you decide who you want to be sort of the king I'm gonna decide this is the body of my person and this is the hat I would like the hat to link on to the body so the body's going to be the parent so what I do is I select the hat I shift, right click and select the body. Now while that's being done, I can go object, parent, object. Okay, so I parent to the object. Now the last one you select is considered the parent. So I selected the cone first, and then object again. I selected the cone first, so now this is the parent. So when I move the parent, the child, object right this one was set to have this one as its parent you'll even notice now here that the cylinder I have selected cylinder one it shows a double data tab there and when you pop open the expansion it says cylinder one has cone one tucked inside it this is the parenting relationship now to show you that again, I could parent these two onto this. So I could say, let's take this one, shift, click, and then object, parent, object, object. And now this one is parented to that. When I move that one, the children follow. Okay, this one has this as the parent. Notice now in the data tab, there's a multiple link. I got my cube here. Underneath it has the cylinder, and the cylinder has the cone following. Now you can still pull these apart and move them, but the idea with parenting is the child follows the parent. Okay, this goes for rotation, anything, and this is going to be useful later on. And this one follows this one. So you can have a thing parented to another parent, and so on. And this will be how your uh, animated bodies work together later. But this is nice. Uh, this is usually what you want when you're linking up objects to form a mesh is one main piece moves and all the items, let's take this, click, 
object, parent, object, object. Now you got all these ones following that one object, right? They scale together. They do everything together. It's perfect. Hot key for this, control P. For instance, this, shift this, control P. That sets up the parent menu, object. And there you go. Now everybody's following each other. Perfect. That's parenting and grouping. Parenting is probably the one you're going to want to use. Um, how to take away the parenting? You can just click on an object and go parenting, clear the parent. Or up here, you can literally take this out and you can drop the clear parent. Now the cone's out of there. The cone is no longer linked up as a parent following. Thanks for watching.